Hi there, gorgeous, and a very happy money-saving March to you. If you haven't heard, I'm doing drugstore videos the entire month of March, and I'm also doing five videos a week. So please subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos coming out this month. Today, I'm joined by my gorgeous friend, Corinne. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> She's back. She, I can't believe she actually agreed to do another video with me after that horrible foundation. It was fun though. <laughs> it was. To prove them wrong. She's such a good sport. Like she really is. You really proved them wrong. So. She really, really did. But she's here today with me to test out these new Maybelline lipsticks that promise to be universally flattering to everyone. <laughs> it's a unique concept and I couldn't think of a better person to try them out with me. Aww. So Corinne has her own set here and we're going to be doing this side by side together and we will show you up close what each of these shades look like. The first one we're trying out here is number 376 Pink for Me. And I'll show you an up close swatch here of what that one looks like before we apply it. It's very creamy. This one's nice. Yeah. It's actually really um, complimentary to my skin tone. And it's not too much. This is Ooh, nice. That's this pretty. is gorgeous. That looks this like This is gorgeous. <laughs> that's a pretty nude color for this your is, skin Thank tone. you. This is gorgeous. I don't like nude colors and this one is really nice yeah this is this i'm so in the new color for sure oh definitely a new color i can't apply lipstick i just pretend to be able to you know it's not bad on me either no it's pretty on you too yeah okay so we like the nude okay so this one's very nice 376 like pink for me three seven three mauve for me okay <laughs> we're like simultaneous. <laughs> that was cute. Wow, yeah. And if you want to, you can mix this one and this one, which I do a lot. Oh, yeah. You can yeah. combine the nude and the mauve for me, and it'll be pretty together. And it's not too much. It would be. What a right. nice look. It's not like overpowering or too bright, subtle. Maybe a first date. This is a go getter. So that's what that one looks like. That's pretty. Two different complexions. Yeah. Still looks good. It's dark, I, it's dark on you because your skin is lighter. Right. But, it looks, like but it looks good either way. But it looks like a nude it's on nice. you, which is pretty. Yeah. I like nude lipsticks. Like, what's your favorite color? I've never wear? tried a nude. This is my first nude. Really? And I like it. I, oh, it looks I thought that maybe nude would wash my skin on. Oh, no. Out, so I've never done a nude. It looks good on that you. That looks good. So which one you try next? Spice for me, 370. 370. It's very fallish. It is. Is it pulling red on you, too? Oh, on me? It's looking more copper, but it's still really pretty. Yeah, yeah, that's, again, that's what I was looking for, copper. It's not Different red, complexions. It's, it's, it's copper, but it's, once again, it's pretty. It's a nice, soft, like cinnamon. Yeah. Fall. This is a great fall color. This is awesome for fall. It's got that okay. orangey hint of, of brown. Yeah. Mixed together. It matches my hair. Nice. <laughs> it does match your hair. <laughs> Which one was it again? 379? Uh huh. It's gonna be like my blouse. It's gonna be pink. <laughs> pink. Woo! Goodness, look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Another nice one. And this can go into spring easily. Oh, yeah. It can be fall, but you can take it into spring as well. That's how she's pretty commentating enough. all this. <laughs> it's pretty enough for spring and summer, but it's dark enough you could do fall ish and get away with it. Color. It's bright, though. My goodness. It's bright. It's See, pretty, I'm though. It is. You know what, I'm trying face. to take more risks this year with lipstick. I am too. That's yeah. why I buy lipstick. It was purple this morning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did? Which one did purple. you buy? Um, this one that I had on earlier when we had lunch. That was, you have that purple? Was purple. That was oh, purple. it was pretty. I've never done purple. And on me, so it was like was, a purple pink because yes. it was really pretty. It was not a true purple. It was a purple pink. Well, I nice. think purple looks amazing on women of color. It just does. It's like, oh, I can't wear it. But oh, I love to look at it on somebody who really can wear it. So plum for me number three eight eight. Look at that. I haven't that seen is, it yet. Oh, that's pretty. It is. Ooh. This is like your oh, dark wine dark. red. Oh, that's another it's fall color. Pretty on you though. It's about how all these colors are complementing this eyeshadow right now. They yes, all have. they do. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. They all complement. You the picked eyeshadow. the right one. They've definitely done good with the lip colors. Yeah. I can see different cultures and races being able to wear these colors because yeah. they're they're not overpowering. I wonder if they'll expand this line. Like if they, they have, should. This is really they, good. If they have success with it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's nice. 
I like it. Mm, I do too. You must have worked with <coughs> African American or women of color to make these colors because yeah, they're really complimentary to both of us. Yeah, we they have very extreme skin types. Yes, that's why I love these having are very you here. pale, and I'm really brown, and these are <laughs> they look nice to both of us. Yeah. It's three eighty two. I Red grabbed that one too. Me. Okay, good. We're on the same page. I like reds. Too. This, see now, I like reds too. I'm very extreme. I like nudes and I like reds, but I'm starting to train myself to like the middle shades too. I can't get over the creaminess of these. These are just they're soft. Yeah, they're very creamy. Now, like other lipsticks, where you feel like you're you're drying your lips underneath. This is yeah. This is moist. That's why Maybelline's one of my favorites. This is moist. It's like they have maybe vitamins inside the colors. Yeah. Now this has the look of a lip stain, but it's a lipstick. Yeah. Which I love. I like lip stains, but. Did you get it on that quick? How do you apply your lipstick so fast? I'm a pro. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pretty on everybody though. It's I mean, pretty. this is. Yeah. I like Jenna it. Jenna Jackson, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. 385 Ruby for me. Now I don't know how that could be any different. Then the last one we just tested, the last red lipstick we just tried is lighter than this next yeah, red this lipstick. Yeah, this is darker. It's much this darker. darker. And yeah. between this red and the last one, which one do you like better? This one. Really? See, I like the last one better. But, I mean, I'm judging on the outfit I'm wearing right now because oh, I, yeah. I match my lipstick to my outfit. <laughs> yes, I am that diva, yes. <laughs> I would say this is like the Sasha Fish version of the other one. Oh yeah, it's like it's um, alter ego. Alter ego, yes. I'm glad you're here. I can't ever <laughs> think of the, the words. Sometimes I feel so stupid on camera. Yes. I can't think of the yeah, words. This is the Sasha Fierce of the lipsticks. So. Well, what did you think, Corinne? Overall, do you feel like these are made for everyone? I mean, based on. Your complexion, which is very pale white, and me, which is very rich brown. Yeah. Yeah, I would say these are good buys. I think you could be in between our shades and still look great in these colors. I agree. And, and I was, it's not too much of a risk color wise. It's like within normal spectrum. That's a good of point. Colors. Like there's nothing outrageous in here. Well, thank it's, you so much, yeah. Corinne, for being here with me. It was me. fun. I'm glad these actually worked yes. this time. Yeah, something so good. You can get these. This is a nice line. I, yeah. I recommend it. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you like Corinne, you want to see her back, give us some video ideas. She'll come back. She'll come back. I like the camera entirely too much. Am I good? <laughs> At least she's honest about it. I'm not quitting my day job as a teacher, but you know, <laughs> a little side thing. Well, I love having her here. It's more fun filming with somebody else rather than talking to yourself in the room. That's kind of weird, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> I'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. Join us again. Oh, I can't even so. hold mine. All right. <coughs> <laughs> I'm a klutz by nature. Okay, seven, six. You know what? I need a mirror. <laughs> I don't have a mirror. I'm using blue. those blue lipsticks. Yeah, I think that's nuts. <laughs> Do they what? Can, they can help the other company. <laughs> <laughs> they're great at lipsticks. I don't think lipsticks, anybody though. can help that company. <laughs> that was Somebody terrible. should be able to. Ooh. Some, you know what? Actually, in that video, what was so funny was a lot of people said um, if you applied it with your fingers, it would have, would have matched you better. And they said the same thing to me. Do you feel like that was? No. See, I, I didn't think, think so terrible. either. I thought it, it was a bad foundation. Like I would allow my student, instead of four and five years old, to splash powder on me. <laughs> so it looks the same either way.